All right, so let's go on working here on that lock. So if we take this thing here and we want to smooth that out, um, we have to insert some edge loops. So let's insert one up here, um, one down there, and then we need one here and one here. And I think we also need one here on the end. So now let's uh, smooth that thing out. Okay, so we missed one um, somewhere about here. Check that out again. All right, it's looking smooth. And now what we can do is um, let's create um, two cylinders um, that come into place here. So let's create a polygon cylinder. And then we move that guy down. And again, we have to rotate that 90 degrees in Z. And then uh, let's switch to the side view to bring this guy into position. So put it somewhere inside of that piece here. Uh, somewhere about here. Okay. And what we can do is, um, yeah, first of all, let's uh, check out how wide this thing should be. So let's give it under the inputs uh, some subdivisions on the caps, um, something like three. Okay. And then um, we want that thing to scale out. Something like that. And then we uh, select an edge here. And then the control right click, edge ring utilities and split. Set it to multi. And then we scale those right somewhere about here. So when we smooth that guy, it's getting rounded corners. We could do is uh, insert an edge loop here. So I selected that edge, hit G to repeat the last tool. Do the same here on the left side from this view also, so hit G. Okay, so now with that cylinder created, if you hit three, it's getting some r nice rounded edges. Could be scaled out a little bit more, just a tiny bit. Yeah, okay, so let's take uh, that guy and uh, copy that over. So, oops, let me switch to the side view again and um, hit Control D and move that copy uh, somewhere about here. Okay, so let's check that out from the perspective view. It's looking all right. And now what we want to do is we want to connect uh, this guy to this one here. Um, that's something we can do um, first of all, let's uh, duplicate this guy. So with that selected, hit Control D. Oops, uh, let me undo that. Um, first, we have to freeze the transforms, and then hit Control D, and then scale that negative one in X. And then we take both objects again, combine those, and then select the words in the center here, and merge those. Okay. And now, yeah, we have to insert some edge loops here. Um, let's insert one here, and then we move that into position of that last row of words here of that cylinder. So a V middle mouse and then snap, snap, snap with that point there. And then we insert another one. And again, we snap it to its corresponding edge, V middle mouse over here, and insert another one, move that guy, and then V middle mouse and snap over here. What we can do now is we can go in and double click on this uh, edge here in the center of that guy, and then delete that. 
And then we um, take another uh, three splits here on this side and do the same. So move it in X and then V middle mouse over this point here. And again, take this one or insert an edge loop, move it in X and then V middle mouse over this point here. And finally, one more with the border part here. So hit V middle mouse over this point. Okay, so what we can do now is to have a better look on what we're doing. Select the cylinder and the that piece here and then hit Alt H to hide everything else in your scene. And now I want to connect um, yeah, this part here with this one. So let's check out how many faces we want to connect. Um, I would say this one here and this one. So let's Let's do this with with the uh, with this four faces here. Okay, so delete those, and then we have to insert four edge loops here in this uh, thing. So, and that's uh, we go here to this object, and then we take that edge here, or that that edge here and then control right click edge ring utilities and split and then we set it to multi here in the under the inputs and uh, set the divisions to four okay oh let's let's type in five i think that's that's looking better in the end so we got um one two three four faces here that we delete and then we take this one here and this one and combine those. And then again, we are using the bridge tool. So double click on that border edge here and double click on the corresponding border edge. And then go up here under your polygons tab and uh, go under edit mesh bridge. Let's check the options. It's uh, set to three divisions. That should work fine. So let's say bridge. There you go. There's our connection. And what we now need now is um, another final edge loop here and so select one edge control right click edge ring utilities edge ring and split and set it to multi and then scale it uh, out it comes to the border there so now we smooth that guy let's check that out how that looks all right so now um i've got the show all button here on my shelf so that uh, everything that we just hide comes back into the viewport here and that's looking all right so now let's take that new thing that we created here it has its uh, pivot here in the center which is cool um, and let's just duplicate that guy so i don't want to make an instance so hit ctrl d and scale that negative one in z okay and then we do the same here with that cylinder that we first created. Um, let's uh, freeze the transforms and then let's move the pivot um, to the center of the grid. So let me just uh, turn off some stuff here. Okay, so hit a D and then X. So again, D and X and middle mouse and snap it there. Okay, and now we take that guy and duplicate that again and scale it negative one and Z as well. Okay, so let me turn off that other stuff here. I don't want that image plane. So yeah, now we have uh, lots of stuff done here. Uh, and again, I'm running out of time here. Oh man, time is running. Uh, in this tutorial here um okay so in the next video we take care about the last piece here we put uh, just a simple box in here and shape it a little bit and then finally um we can start um creating the shaders and stuff like that so all right so let's uh, pause the video and see you in the next one